Welcome to my world. some snuggles and all laundry detergent here and there was points off for gas so our next trip will have probably 20 cents off it was 10 cents per purchase and my husband had coupons for this and you'll see all the coupons and prices at the end of the video extra large grocery haul for you today from BJ's and Walmart's we're gonna start over on the left here Got a big bag of unsalted peanuts from BJ's. The burgers are from BJ's, they're the Bubba Burgers. These little potatoes are dynamite, also from BJ's. Breakfast sausage and bacon from BJ's. There was a big coupon for that, and I'll tell you all the coupons at the end. Got our lunch meat at BJ's. We got turkey, ham, and chicken. Then spaghetti at Walmart. French sliced bread at Walmart, and we usually do Walmart canned goods. We got chicken gravy, tomato sauce, paste. My husband got three of the chicken gravies. We use the sauce, we replace the sauce, is how we do things to keep our inventory full. And the diced tomatoes, and another thing of sauce. Got a can of Pringles from Walmart. From Walmart, we also got lettuce and celery. Bananas, buns, hot dog, and hamburger, Bob Evans, and sliced cheese. Now, for the rest of BJ's, we got the Gatorade. My kids are going to be done with school in a week and a half. 40 count of water. Best price in the area. 40 of them for under 5 bucks, not including tax and bottle deposit. That is a great buy for Kool-Aid Jammers. It was under $8. Top Raymond Chicken. Got a whole chicken for tonight. A Maxwell House. And all these items are from BJ's, including the rotisserie whole chicken. That is $5 for three pounds of chicken. The Glade from Walmart. No Dollar Tree today. Then, of course, the breakfast goods that we just spoke about and the burgers and baby potatoes. And we have laundry detergent. And fabric softener downstairs, which we got coupons plus gas prices, as you heard in the store clip, for 10 cents off. So about 20 cents off the next time we fill up at BJ's. Another quick look. And we got to get everything put away. We do drive about 25 minutes because I'm out in the country to get to the nearest supermarket in BJ's. over my receipts with you now. I had to quickly put everything away and we're going to put some things away together. I decan things and take away the packaging so it's not cluttery and busy. And there are great ways to keep your food fresher longer with the prices continuing to go up. For instance, you can wrap your lettuce and celery in foil or paper towels, which is what I use, and cut the ends off of the celery. And when you buy banana bunches, just take them apart. You don't need to put saran wrap or foil or anything on the tips. Take them apart the last over a week. And I put wax around my cheese when I open it and keep it in a zip block and it lasts up to three to four weeks of my cheese slices without the little plastic wraps on them. We're going to start with the Walmart receipt. The buns were 93 cents each hamburger hot dog. The bread was a dollar for the French sliced bread from the bakery. The air fresher, 97 cents. Chicken gravy, 98 cents. Three of them. Diced tomato, 92 cents. Paste, 98 cents. The Pringles was $1.78. Goodbye. The basil, $1.48. That is the tomato basil in the jar. 
Pen spaghetti, 92 cents. And the little canned uh, sauces are a couple uh, for 92 cents a piece. And then the celery stock was a dollar eighty seven. Lettuce just at two fifty six. The Bob Evans mashed potatoes were three ninety eight. And the bananas were fifty eight cents a pound. On to BJ's. Gatorade, the case was sixteen ninety nine. That lasts a good two to three weeks in my house with a family of four. Best price in town, under $5 for a 40 count of bottled water, plus deposit. The jammer's also best price, $7.99. You get 40 of them. Then we had the Jimmy Dean sausages, $11.49. The potatoes were $5 for the little tiny ones. Those are amazing in the air fryer. The next day, throw them on the skillet and make homemade hash browns. Get two meals out of them, or sides. The peanuts had a coupon, $5.99, with a dollar off. Maxwell House, $8.99, $2 off. My coffee, my husband's too. The top Raymond was $8.99 for the case. The burgers were $23.99 for that big, huge box. The bacon, we had $2 off. So it was $17.99. A rotisserie chicken, that was $4.99. Now the lunch meat, the chicken breast was two forty six. That was for a quarter of a pound. The turkey was a third of a pound at two fifty nine, and then a half a pound of the ham was four thirty six. Then we picked up snuggle for twelve forty nine, and all for fifteen seventy nine. There was coupons off of those. We saved forty five dollars today. That is awesome. We spent 183 and at Walmart we spent $40.70. Now there was a separate receipt, my big bag of wild bird feed for my birds and our gerbil likes that bird feed, doesn't like gerbil or hamster food, likes little certain things within the mix. So everybody's fed, was $8 for the big huge I think, 20 pound bag of bird feed. That usually lasts two to three weeks for one of my bird feeders. I'm going to show you our meal planning board and then we're going to decan. So we don't meal plan breakfast or lunch, but I did stock up on breakfast and lunch stuff and drinks because the kids are done with school in a week and a half and that's going to go by really fast. Now, my meal planning board goes as follows. Every Wednesday night is Italian night with some kind of Italian dish with spaghetti, goulash, lasagna, lasagna soup. Thursdays we do a heat and eat night, your choice, you may call it, or feed yourself night. Friday we do copycat takeout, where we do stir fries, Chinese food, pizzas, and tacos, like the restaurants, but at home. We do beef on Saturdays. Sundays we usually do a lot of chicken, occasionally hams. Tuesdays are pork night, where we do pork loins, pork chops, pork ribs. And we do around two meals on Mondays. When you utilize your leftovers for lunches the next day during the week, and for a round two meal for a dinner, you're going to save hundreds a month. So always, always use your leftovers. Wrap your lettuce, wrap your celery, take apart your bananas, wrap your cheese. You're going to save money. That's how we meal plan. We have a players list called meal planning. Check it out. I'm trying to get better at my meal planning videos where they're not so redundant and a little more fun to watch. I would be opening up all these bottles. Water I still have a whole case of. So I'm going to hold off on opening them. The juice, I still have three 12 packs from the other brand, so we don't need to open them. But we do need Gatorade open. I'm going to that out of the way here. And then I'm going to put this underneath my silver rack. Let's get the Gatorade up on the table. My husband likes the yellow ones. I do the red and orange ones. It's the rainbow pack. And I have bins from the Dollar Tree. Open up your case. I'm going to take the yellow ones out. The ones that are in here already, I removed because we're going to put the new stock in first. Always rotate your stock. 
very important. Just lay them down until it fills up. I'm going to save a few of the fruit punch for my husband too. I'm not sure if he does drink that or not. He'll keep his in my in the fridge. I don't. I just drink them, open them and go. And then I put these back over here that were in there. And the Gatorades are full for two to three weeks. More space here. This is going to go here. Right there. Out of the way. And then she can have the Raymond. There's only one water in here. And I'm going to put half of them in here. You get the idea. Put them in bins so they're not in the packages. Or if you have the room in the actual pantry to store them in the packages, do so. I always use free storage first. That one's opened, so... If you find damages on your packages, call the company and they'll send you a replacement coupon. The rest of them seem to be okay. These little bins from the Dollar Tree hold a ton of ramen. Some bins this week. Two bins from the Dollar Tree is are going to hold one case of Raymond noodles. This will last us the entire summer. I did pick some up at the Dollar Tree and we'll use those first. I had gotten beef ones, these are chicken. And then all the packaging is going to go down to the recycle bin. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and shopping with me. With New York State prices, I'm upstate New York, which is way different from downstate in New York City. They're even higher down there. So keep that in mind when you're judging prices. And we're also way different than Midwest or down south. It's the great white north. We decanted some products. A lot of them I can't decant yet. The bins aren't empty, so they're just going to be kept in my stockpile until we're ready for them for another video. Before we go, when we get to 1500 we're going to issue out two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards. Please comment if you're new and let me know so you can be qualified for the drawing. Everyone who's commented for a really long time already know all this. Everybody needs to be a U.S. resident and subscribed. We're also looking for 13 more people to give out one five-item surprise pack from the Dollar Tree. Valued at 625. When we get those 13 people, we will issue out another prize pack. We give out gift cards every 100 subscribers to thank you for subscribing to my channel and being a part of our community. God bless and have a great day. Thank you for watching.